Well, this is developing tonight. A violent attack at a Minneapolis light rail station raising some concerns about crime against people just trying to take the bus or light rail. Monday's assault in broad daylight is just one example of an increase in Metro Transit crime. In January, Metro Transit reported crimes in 2022 up 54 percent over the year before. On Monday's brutal assault victim was transgender. And while we don't know if the attack is hate motivated, police are concerned that it could be. Our Bab Santos joins us live now in Minneapolis and Babs, it's fueling fears of safety among the trans community. Yeah, this woman was apparently in critical condition when she arrived at the hospital. Tonight, her current condition is unknown, but police aren't investigating this as a hate crime. It will just, you know, raise further concerns for our community about our safety and, you know, our safety within uh, the Twin Cities area and within Minnesota at large. On Monday morning here at the Lake Street Light Rail Station, police say a transgender woman was assaulted by three people who pushed her downstairs and beat her while she lay on the ground. And officers on scene felt it may have been motivated by anti-transgender bias. We're all thinking of her and hoping that, you know, she's able to recover. Um, certainly sounded like a really awful attack. Kat Roan, the executive director of Outfront Minnesota, the LGBTQ advocacy group, says in the wake of Monday's assault, she's heard from many in the community left concerned and looking for protection. Members of our community are feeling deeply vulnerable and feeling like we are being attacked on many different levels. Monday's victim was unable to speak after the assault, badly hurt with a rib fracture and internal bleeding in the head, according to these court documents. The men who allegedly assaulted her then left the crime scene aboard a train, exiting near the VA Medical Center, where two of the three were eventually arrested. They now face charges of robbery and assault. I think people are feeling very vulnerable right now. I think this heightens that. And I think it just raises the awareness of, you know, the risks that are still faced um, by LGBTQ folks and particularly trans women of color um, who are, you know, experiencing violence and discrimination on a regular basis within our community. Tonight, Metro Transit says in part, we recognize this incident is particularly disturbing to the LGBTQ community. Police will continue to proactively patrol and remotely monitor this location, and we are advancing plans to expand our official presence on transit. Live in Minneapolis tonight, Bab Santos, Fox 9. Well, young man.